Media Molecule have made something truly special with Dreams. It offers an unbelievably vast array of creation options, using which you can create everything from side-scrolling platformers to full-fledged open-world games, from music to animated films. And best of all, in spite of being so huge and in spite of offering incredibly granular control over all its tools to players, it manages to be extremely fun, easy to use, and very accessible. So of course, using these tools, Dreams players have already created a ton of awesome stuff. And like many of you, we've been spending a lot of time playing through tons of these. In this feature, we'll be talking about a few of the best user-created games we've come across in Dreams so far. So let's get started right away. Pip Gem Walker, made by Man Chicken Turtle. Pip Gem Walker is a charming puzzle title that takes a lot of cues from Nintendo's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. You walk around similarly constructed stages looking for gems and getting past enemies and obstacles. It looks adorable, has a good soundtrack, controls pretty well, and its levels are tightly designed. Fans of puzzle games will want to seek this one out. The Missing Constellation, made by Gofferman. The Missing Constellation is probably among the most polished games you'll find in Dreams right now. It's very similar to Journey and leaves an impact in similar ways as well. The controls are great, traversal is a lot of fun, the environment is beautiful and detailed, the playable characters got a cool design, and the music is amazing. In spite of its very short runtime, it'll definitely stay with you. Here's hoping the creator decides to expand upon this idea and turn it into a longer, full-blown game. Hat Kids Summer Vacation Dream Open World Edition Made by Giant585 Dark Someone clearly spent a lot of time on this one. Hat Kids Summer Vacation Dream presents you with a large open sandbox, which you have to explore and traverse to collect pips scattered throughout the map. It's a lot like Spyro the Dragon in that regard. You use the pips you collect to purchase vehicles like a scooter or a helicopter. Meanwhile, there's NPCs to meet, side activities like fishing to partake in, and avoiding the dangers of nightfall. There's a lot, and it's an impressive feat, a great showcase of what dreams can make possible. Fallout 4 Dreams Edition, made by RoboKiller V2. Here's another showcase of what dreams can make possible, but in a different way. While the games we've talked about so far have been original ideas, this right here is a recreation of parts of Fallout 4 within dreams, and it's mighty impressive. It looks great, it's got dialogue options, quests to undertake, enemies to engage in battle, it's even got a pit boy And like a real Fallout game, it's also a little rough around the edges. Dead Space, made by Cody Y. EA might be adamant on never letting us play the spectacular Dead Space series again, but thanks to Dreams, we can at least try out a substitute. This Dead Space recreation will bring some excellent memories of the horror title back, from the way it recreates the atmosphere to how faithfully it adapts the original game's look and gameplay. It's not a one-to-one -one recreation, of course, and lacks in detail and polish here and there, but fans of Dead Space will definitely enjoy this one. P.T. Made by Lewis 729 Ready for another impressive horror recreation? Hideo Kojima's P.T. was lightning in a bottle and promised great things, things that will never come. But at least you can play through this surprisingly impressive replica of P.T. in Dreams. It is extremely faithful to the original demo, and it captures the spookiness and scares very well. We've been hearing about this P.T. recreation in Dreams since last year, and it's definitely worth checking out. Resident Evil Classic, made by Akintsibe71. We're not done with horror yet, and for this one, we're turning back the clock. Resident Evil Classic is an ode to the PS1 era of the series. It's not the most visually polished, it's basically just a collection of assets and doesn't have a lot of detail, but it executes the core mechanics and controls of the older Resident Evil game very well. Fans of classic survival horror will want to give this one a go. Stardew Valley, Pelican Valley, made by C. Tushi. 
Stardew Valley Pelican Town is exactly what its name suggests. It's a 3D recreation of the setting of Eric Barone's wonderful indie hit. Pelican Town doesn't have any indoor environments, you can't talk to any of the NPCs, and there isn't much interactivity to it. But it's still great to step inside it and its faithfully recreated and detailed 3D version of Stardew Valley. Crash Bandicoot – The Islands of Wumpa Made by Dopey Fries 1234 up until now, we've spoken a lot about games that have, in some form or another, recreated major games or franchises in some way. Crash Bandicoot The Islands of Wumpa, however, is not a recreation. Instead, it's a new Crash Bandicoot game inspired by the original trilogy and The Wrath of Cortex. It's not the most polished right now, but the creator has dubbed it an alpha demo, so there's work to be done here. Already though, it's a pretty solid blueprint of what it can go on to become. Untitled Space Opera, made by Ord6. Untitled Space Opera, as its name suggests, is a kernel of an idea of a full game. Clearly, the game's creator wants to use this as a jumping off point for something much larger, and there's already a lot of promise in what's on display. The sci fi environments have been created with a great eye for detail, there's seeds of an interesting story, and all in all, it can definitely lead to something impressive. This one is worth keeping an eye on. Turbulence, made by Sander Bros. In terms of pure, unadulterated fun, Turbulence is probably among the finest games in this whole feature. It's a racer, but instead of racing against the other competitors, you race against a catastrophic environment. You zip through it at fast speeds while storms rage all around you. Explosions rip through buildings, structures and roads crumble and fly off in the stormy winds, and more. It's a thrilling, enjoyable, adrenaline-fueled game and definitely worth checking out. The Pilgrim, made by Narvik Guten. The Pilgrim is an inventive platformer that constantly shifts perspectives, but its biggest strength is its level design. Making your way through its challenges is a lot of fun, and you'll always find yourself enjoying some aspect of its design. The controls are a little wonky, and the movement can feel a bit inaccurate, but by and large, it's still a solid, enjoyable game. Prometheus, made by Rothniel. Prometheus is only supposed to be a demo of what will be a larger, full-fledged shooter, but it does exactly what a good demo should do. It sells you on the full thing thoroughly. Combat and shooting in the game are tight, enemies pose a real threat, the environments are large, detailed, and beautiful, and already this game feels very polished. Blade Gunner, made by Jimmy Jules 153 Another great game if you're just looking for a fun pick-up-and-play experience. Blade Gunner is an arcade shooter that's quite similar to the likes of Resogun. It gets progressively more intense as you make your way through its waves, movement and controls are tight and responsive, and you can spend currency earned in-game for upgrades. It is, all in all, exactly the kind of game that you can get a lot of replay value from. The Encounter, made by Big Surf 77 the Encounter is more a playable teaser than an actual full game, like a few others we've mentioned in this feature, but it will surely impress you even in its brief runtime. It does a great job of building up an atmosphere, mystery, and tone that should make the full game quite an experience. Its setting is already great and exploring it is a lot of fun, and it looks great and boasts a surprising level of polish. Even though right now there isn't much substance to the Encounter itself, it's an impressive creation that excites us about what it might become. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, please hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to switch on the notifications bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.